Hi guys, this is Eva Robbins. This is a video about iPhone multitasking. Um, what, from what the saying is, when iPhone OS 4 hits the public, you'll be able to multitask on your iPhone and iPod Touch. Not necessarily true, as it'll only happen on the 3GS and the iPod Touch third generation. The, those of you who have got 3G or 2G iPhone and an earlier iPod Touch, you don't get multitasking. You get some news a little bit, but not multitasking, which is what most people want from the iPhone. So, um, this is a video on how to get multitasking now on OS 3 on a 3G. Uh, this will also work on the earlier iPhone and the iPod Touches. So, what you need to do is have a jailbroken iPhone or iPod Touch. Um, I personally use Black Rain, it's the easiest. Um, I'll stick a link in the information box on how to do it or on the website that shows you how to do it and then once you've done that if you install Cedilla or Cydia you'll have this brand application here so go into that I've got it preloaded on my multitasking so I'll double tap home and I get my multitasking up uh, you'll need to search for Pro Switcher don't worry when you type in Cydia is very slow when you type just hit the application You'll get an install or modify box up here. I've got modify because it's already installed, and that's it. It allows you to respring your device. Once you respring, you'll have a little box pop up that says, uh, Welcome to Pro Switcher. Please go to settings. So we'll do that now. So we'll jump into settings. Basically, what we've got is an extra option inside settings now called Pro Switcher. So we have to set up how you want to uh, get into your Pro Switcher or how you want to switch your applications. So we'll go to Pro Switcher, Activation Methods. I've got mine set as double press home. It doesn't have to be that on yours. Some people like double press home to be iPod. So you can have hold, single press, shake it, uh, double press the, the sleep button, or your screen gestures, or icon pinch and spread, or double tap I certain bits of the screen, or press volume up and down. So there's lots of different ways you can activate it. So to get something into Pro Switcher, not everything is just going to go straight into the background, so don't worry, not all your apps are going to be running in the background. What you need to do is hold down home, you'll get a pop-up box in, background is enabled, and then sometimes the app will close, sometimes it won't, sometimes it will stay there for a few seconds, but then that's it running in the background. So press home, it'll take you back to the home screen. So you can, can in effect say load your Facebook, hold down your home button, background is enabled, it will jump into the background. So when you double press your home button, it will go into there. It doesn't always work, like that one on there didn't work the first time, but it got there eventually. You can click on the app, it will jump you into Facebook. So to get back out, you double tap, that takes you back into the task switcher, and then you press home. One thing you have to remember is to always, if you've got it set up as double press, is to always double press it when you want to exit the app, or it, just, or it does close the app. If I press home now, that will close the app. If I hold down the home button, it'll say background and disabled and it closes the app out for you. So then to get that app back into multitasking, you press it, hold home, it enables it, and then when you double tap it'll be in that section again. Like I say, sometimes it doesn't work, like I don't think it worked that time because we took it in and out quite quickly. Like we enabled it and disabled it and enabled it again doesn't always like you doing that, it does sometimes break the program a little bit. So I'll try it again, background enabled. This time it didn't crash out, so it might work this time. Yeah, no, that's got it that time. So like I say, sometimes it's not 100% uh, because it is made by um, developers that aren't paid by Apple. Uh, they are doing it off their own back, so it's not going to work 100%, but it's still a really good app. It still works really well. Um, I highly recommend it. It's really handy. What I don't recommend you do is have a lot of apps running. If you have a lot of apps running, it will slow it down. If you've got three apps running, like I've got now, it's not too bad. Um, so I've got four now because I've accidentally opened. I'm oh, sorry, three. One of which is the iPod. So I accidentally opened the iPod. Sometimes when you double press, it does still kick in the iPod control. So. All you have to do to close that is press the cross button here, and that's that gone. It's actually closed completely, it's not running in the background. So if I close out all the apps, 
you get look you get the screen that says no app joining. So we'll close that. If if it is sometimes when you press home as well and it is enabled, it does jump you straight back into the task manager, which is what this screen is here. So no app joining. So we'll go back into settings and see if we can get settings to do it again. So background enabled, double press, and settings is in the background. So like I say, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, like I said, don't have too many apps running in the background, just have a few. So I kind of limit myself to five basic apps, or maybe a game. Um, you know, something that's taking you a while to load, or something like that. Um, I've not tried it with any of the Copilot or TomToms or anything like that. It may work, it may not. That's one of the, app, the features they are bringing in OS 4 for the higher end phones like the 3GS and the iPod Touch 3G. Uh, sorry, the iPod Touch 3rd Gen uh, is for the site, the sat nav type things. Um, but you can do this with any app on the phone. You're not really limited. But do keep an eye on how many apps you've got. If you do have too many, your phone will slow down to a crawl and your battery life will be completely killed off. Um, I've seen guys use this for an hour and they've had every app to run for that hour in the background and the phone's died within two. So just be careful how many apps you've got running in the background at one go, just in case cause you don't want to be running your battery out. Um, so that's how to get multitasking on OS3 on um, any iPhone device or any iPod Touch. Um, if you've got any comments leave in the box below if you've got any questions you can comment or hit me on email at evilbobbins at evilbobbins.com and I'll see you guys later